most people know that climate change that we're starting to experience around the world is caused primarily by carbon dioxide emissions that people are creating. We think about driving cars and we think about heating our homes and all of those things are major problems. But actually, the single largest source of carbon dioxide emissions that people are putting into the atmosphere is in fact coming from cutting down forests. When you walk through the tropical Romanian forest, the trees are gigantic and they're made out of incredibly hard wood and it's the hardest wood that there is on Earth. The thing that makes that wood hard is carbon. And so when you cut down those trees and when you burn them or when they decay, the physical carbon that is locked up in the trees themselves goes into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. And that's actually the main source of emissions. If we're gonna get a handle on climate change, uh, one of the first things we have to do, and indeed one of the most cost-effective things we have to do, is to reduce the rate of tropical rainforest deforestation and destruction. We have three goals, really. One is to worry about the future of wildlife in those forests. Second is to worry about the future of the people who, who live in the forest and their children and their children's children who will need to continue to depend on that forest into the future. And the third and the newest one really is climate change. And climate change is both a reason for us to be there because we need to reduce emissions, but it's also in some ways an opportunity. Let me take a, a very specific example. Um, the Makira Forest in, in northeastern Madagascar, just off the eastern coast of Africa. Over 80% of the plants and animal species in Madagascar are found only on that island nation. What we've done there is we've worked with local communities and with the national government to create a new protected area. And around that, we've created a buffer zone which will be managed by local people. What we can do now is take the CO2 emissions, the carbon dioxide emissions, that would have been released into the atmosphere as a result of that forest being cut down over the next 100 years. And we can sell those emissions to polluters in the West who need to offset their own emissions. So for example, if you and I are flying in jet airplanes and we wish to offset the emissions from, from that, we can go and we can buy a little piece of that rainforest in Madagascar to offset our emissions. The money that we pay will then go into a trust fund and half of that money will go to reward the local people themselves with development projects. The other half will actually help us and the government of Madagascar to do conservation right across the country. There are many, many ways that each of us can help. The first way is to write our congressman, because Congress right now is considering climate change legislation. Um, so writing now to say that the U.S. should support um, carbon trading of deforestation in, in the tropics as a means for offsetting emissions, that can make a huge difference. The second thing you can do is to make an effort to change your own life, to drive less, fly less, um, use energy efficient light bulbs, reduce your own carbon footprint. The third thing you can do, of course, is to go to our website. You'll find links to pilot projects. Um, and the more time you take, and the more time you take to talk to your parents or your children, um, this is how you create a global movement. What we do over the next few years will determine how much CO2 goes into the atmosphere and how much the world's climate changes. And that will determine the future for wildlife, for people, and for the entire globe well into our children's and our children's children's future.